Hey there YouTube, I realized I forgot to introduce myself in my last video. My name is Charles and in this video I'll be doing an unboxing and a review on this Osgood, uh, Staples Osgood office chair in leather. This is my first attempt at an unboxing video. We'll see how this goes. I'm going to unbox this Staples Osgood chair. It is in brown. Well, here goes nothing. Let's see. I'm kind of nervous here because I've never done an unboxing. I don't even know if this microphone's picking me up very well or not. And open up that uh... First ever unboxing video. Okay, let's see. Fold that flap, fold that flap. And fold that flap. Some cardboard. And looks like on top we've got got an arm wrapped in bubble wrap. Not to say that for more. And another arm in bubble wrap. Hmm. Nope. Oh jeez. That appears to be the bottom of the seat here. Sit that side. Another piece of cardboard. Hmm. Some parts with the manual. Parts with the manual, and also, I believe that's the hydraulic cylinder. Here's the base. Alright. Ah, wheels. We got wheels. That would be the bottom plate to mount everything to on the, underneath of the cushion. And last is the back of the chair. I'm gonna do a different video later on uh, because I can't hold this tablet of mine at the same time that I build it, so I can't build it with one hand. So I'll be doing a review later, and maybe in a week I'll be posting the whole thing on YouTube. So that's it for the unboxing. I thought I would do a quick little update before I actually begin the assembly process and show something that I found in this particular box. It's got all the screws individually wrapped up together by step to make it nice and easy so that you don't know, or so that you don't, aren't as confused about what goes where. In my next video, uh, part of this video, It'll be completely assembled, so. One last final update using my tablet so I can move it around and show you. But here's the final chair. All built and ready to go. Okay, now that I've got that out of the way, um, I know it's pretty crappy editing. Also, very poor lighting, so I apologize for the grainy video quality. Anyways, with this particular chair, it's actually only rated for persons up to 225 pounds, and I'm a really big guy, uh, like 300. And so far, I found it to be extremely comfortable. It's soft. It does uh, lean back, way on back here. Uh, I found that it's easier to take 
catnaps in it, really. Uh, the instructions are very good and clear. So if you have a really low budget for getting an office chair, if you can, I would strongly recommend this chair, uh, especially if you're a, a bigger person like I am and you're not loaded. So uh, thanks for watching.